Welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABM Graphics. Today we are designing a music cover art. So today I just want to show you how to design a music cover art. Very simple one. Yes, so let's just go into our Photoshop and however let me show you the details. Yes, uh, a recent update about uh, fans that, um, that is coming out with uh, uh, music, is coming out with uh, a, a, a song called Angel Free. Yes, so I just want to do a listing about that and uh, for the disclaimer is that he has not asked me to do but for educational purpose yes that is how that's why i'm doing it so this is the information fast that i'm in Jeffrey, produced by dr visa one of the better sound engineer in the northern region yes and ghana yes i love him yes so this is one particular pictures of fans um, these two this was the picture that that he posted on uh, his social media wall and before uh, he come out with this one too. so let's just go into it so first of all i'll just create my document and i'll call it fans um, or let's just call it fancy for and the size should be thousand by thousand square okay so this is what i'll have you get that so the next thing i have to do is to create my background so i'll double click here and click ok then i'll come and click fx you get that fx and go to pattern you get it so pattern is loaded this is kind of pattern no so i'll click then i'll look for pattern like something like this i love it so what I have to do is to reduce the opacity to 19. Now move it to 11. Okay. 8. 7. 7 is okay. I don't want it to appear very, to just appear good. No, I just want it to be a hidden background. Yes. So the next thing I have to do is to draw some kind of something over here, like this. The rectangular shape, like this. Then I'll have it like this. Then I'll have something over here. Then I'll have something over here. This is okay for me. So the next thing I have to do is to apply gradient to it. So I'll come and click over here. Then I'll click, I'll click gradient over there. Then I'll click over here. Then I'll change this color to what? Change it to red. Okay then let's do some settings here the angle the angle i'll just swap it out so that i'll get some angle let's see okay this one is okay but uh, with regards to the editing let me try making it uh, okay making the background somehow listing okay so it's okay from yes so i have this thing like this what should i do the next thing i have to do with this is that i'll come and rasterize it then i'll go to filter then i'll come to distort then i'll go to ripple okay so right now i'll choose on my settings over there i'll choose uh what is the name match then I'll have something like this. You get that. Then you can either make it 99 or this. So making 99. Okay, so you will have something like this. You get that. So the next thing I have to do is to move this one in and then move this one in. Then I'll have something like this. You get that. Then I do this way. Then I close it up. Then Okay, I will convert to the smart object, then I'll reduce the distance to 22 for now. So I'm just on my on the way of creating a background. So I'll just go and pick up the information over here. 
the artist name is fun so that I'm sure I'll pick that one first and then I'll come and paste it over here yes and then I'll come and pick another one angel 3 yes and then I'll come and paste that one to over there okay then I'll come back and paste produced by Dr. Fiza then I'll come and paste that one over here then I'll come back and paste 5 minutes entertainment that's his label name label name and then I'll come and paste it on top but wait, that one hasn't And then this way, five minutes entertainment. Okay, so this is what you'll get. So, five minutes entertainment will be on top. Then the next now after that is presents. So, five minutes entertainment presents in the group. So, half it like this. Then I'll move this one on top. So I'm trying to make it a boat. Okay. And this one will follow. And that one should be semi boat. Okay. And this one should be bigger. Should be a little bit bigger, yes. Because that is what people will see and and get in touch. So do this that. Yes, so this one I'll change the font side, the font name to Casino. I want Casino, this one. You get that? Yes. So let me just make it 50 for my font size. This one 50. So the next thing I have to do is to come over here, then go to FS, then go to Stroke. So the stroke position I'll make it outside. Yes. Then the mod I'll not multiply it. And then I'll change the fill type to gradient. Then I'll pick this color. Then I'll change the color to the same background color that I created. Then I'll make the size to 10 okay 10 10 10 okay let me leave it 10 okay, sorry 10 is okay and then over print I don't want to do over print then I'll click OK then over here I'll come to field then I'll make the field zero yes zero so this one let's go to FX and let's reduce the size to five and then making this one more red you get that okay this way so let's make it 10 for the angle then I save for the sake of every tutorial always save Okay, so we have something like this. Then once get them over here, I'll have something like this. Then I'll make it bigger like this. Then I'll come and copy it, this one over there. Copy, 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 let's right, copy, copy it. Then I'll come and paste it on it. So this way. But for that one, I'll change the fill to white zero and then I don't have a stroke but that one would be a gradient so this one so and then this one I'll change the font to one particular font called okay Where is my font? Let me see. Okay, not this font. 
There's a font. I I cannot find a font. Okay, for now let me use this font. Okay. So right now let me just go and pick in the picture to here. Then I will transform the picture down to somewhere like this. So I'll make it come down. Then I'll add layer mask to this one. The layer mask should be one or two. So you select this one, then you come and pick your brush tool. Then you increase the brush. Then you just brush off this place so that we don't just want all of the person. We just want some parts in there. So this is how. We go by this then let me reduce it okay so have something like this you can still make it the distance go in shouldn't come up to this thing so 10 is okay so you have something like this okay the next thing I have to do is to Change this one to, to black. Change it to black. Then I'll make it semi bold and that one should be here. Then I save. I always like saving while doing my work because it has a whole lot of issues. So I have to work with fancy that I'm picture over there. So the first thing I have to do is to come and create a new layer. Then I'll come and pick a brush. Then the brush hardness should be 100 and the size should be a little bit bigger. Okay, this one is okay. A little bit bigger, so I have something like this. So, the first, there is now, I have to come and change this color to red. So, I'll come and click one, two, it's okay for me. Then, I'll create another one. Then I'll change the color to uh, to blue. Then I'll come and click over here one and then two. Oh, that's make it three times. So this one is okay two times. So let me close this one and work with the red. So the red, I'll change the blind the blind mode to screen. Then I'll create a clipping mask on fast data then I'll move it in I'll just move that particular thing in small it shouldn't come to this thing. okay so this one to I'll change the blind mode to screen then I'll clip that one to in and then I'll have it somewhere there but it shouldn't come out more Figure that yes. So in the final, we are just getting to the end of the distance. So for me to get my distance balance, my color and my everything, I'll change this one to black. Then change that one to black, and then make it this way. But this one is to distance so I'll just keep it uh, like medium it's okay so I'll have something like this yes. so okay so the, what I have to do is to move in this one then let me slash it up so that that particular design thing will come up then I'll have something like this yeah, fast get them should be somewhere here yes the next thing I have to do is to create another clipping mask and I'll do something simple but we just have to keep an eye on that I'll come and pick a brush tool then I'll reduce it to five and that one I'll choose the hardness should be hundred by the size should be five so let us just take something over here you see so the size is okay for me so 
what I have to do is to just do some kind of shape. I want to use it. So I'll just do something all like this. I don't like it, like this, I don't like it, like this, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like that one, I don't like that one too. Okay, I think I like this one. You get that. So it's just a kind of practice something, practicing something that you want to come up with. So you don't need to know it more, but you just have to try and create something beautiful for yourself by using the brush to get that. Yes, so I'll have something like that over there. Okay, so I'll have it like this. Then I'll go to FX, then I'll add color to it. Then I'll make it such color over here. Get it. So what I have to do, I just want to transform it in a dark gray color. So I'll have something like that over there. So have to transfer that one down on top of that particular shape. Okay. So gradually we have come to an end of the design of uh, music cover art. And it's very simple and touching. Yes. So after you have that thing, you can now save it. Yes. So thank you very much for watching. This is Avion Graphics. Have a nice day. Bye bye.